How do you create a working accordion component in Framer? In this beginner video, I'm going to walk you through all the process to create this component by yourself from scratch. Now you might wonder, but why do I have to recreate a component that already exists in a library? Well, the simple answer is that if you master and really understand how components are created and how they work, well, this will definitely boost your skills on Framer and on any other tool. So let's get started. And so let's shape together our new component, which is the accordion. Again, we can do it in a, a super easy way, which is simply going into insert on here on the top and going on the sections. And if we scroll down, we can find the FAQ. Drag and drop it into the canvas. And actually that's it, right? We can preview it. And yeah, this, this works pretty well, right? We have it. The thing is that, again, we want to do it from scratch to better understand how the hell these things work, right? Let's delete this. So the accordion is uh, basically composed by two items, which is the title and uh, the content, which is called panel, which is the one basically that expand and collapse when you click on the, on the icons or, or on the, uh, I would say on the title itself. Let's take the text. So this is the te text of the FIQ. And with the text, I need an icon. Uh, let's take uh, here under the icons, let's take Google Material Design and here let's Take the close. Let's change the sizes with 24 by 24 and let's take the two of them and let's create a stack around it. What is a stack? Well, if you are used to use Figma, it's exactly the same thing as the auto layout. The distribution here, we will change it to space between and we will see it uh, that the text and the icon are pushed all the way on the two sides, so left and right. Again, here, I'm going to change the color of this, obviously, with a nice violet. Here, the text, I want it like text color. That's okay. We can also add a fill color, right? We can put it white. Now, let's put some breathe around, a 16 padding all around. So as you can see, it's not really correct because we have a, a fixed width, which, okay, it's a correct, but the height here, we can put it as fit content. And now it's a little bit better. First thing to do is also this. So I rotate this to have a plus because this is the first state. Okay, finished with the title. So now uh, I have to create what? A panel. Let's do it. So let's just uh, take a big text box and let's put inside some um, lot of ipsum that I take here from the web and just paste it inside. So here, again, I can change everything from the um, uh, settings here about the text, but I will select the style that I previously created, which is body two. Here, the height I want that is fit. I'm going to add again a stack on top of it. Okay, here padding again, 16 all around. And uh, as you can see, there is something that doesn't work. Why? Because the text here has the width that is set to fixed. So let's say fill container. That's perfect. And let's add the fill color here too. We have the title, we have the panel, and let's wrap everything together to create our accordion. Let's wrap it around a new vertical stock which is called accordion. Let's delete the gap here inside. Now, you know what? I want a little uh, border on the bottom of the title just to have some separation. So here I select bottom, I change the color with one of uh, my palette and here the width is one, okay. And I want it only at the bottom so I keep only this as set. Now the accordion is created, I create a component, voila, we are inside the accordion. 
So now what we have to do, first thing, change the name here with close because this will be the close state. Let's select the panel here and under styles, we have to change the visibility to no, that's it. As you can see, there is something here wrong, which is the height of the component that should be feet content. Now let's create a new variant of the same component, well, which will be the open state, new variant. Let's call it open and select the panel that as you can see it's hidden and set back it to visible. We have to take this uh, little handle and drag the handle to open and drag back basically the title here back to close. And here we have also to change rotation of the icons back to zero so that we have the X. What we can do is also to create a hover state. So let's create an intermediate state, which is the hover. Let's uh, select the title, important. Let's change the fifth color with like a light violet. And uh, I want also to change the color of the text with, I don't know what, uh, dark violet, right? Something like this. So that when I now preview and I go, you know, on hover, we have this little subtile effect of hover state. Now, let's create a stack and actually should be a vertical stack. Let's uh, take the accordion and let's duplicate it by command D, right? With that command D, we duplicate the same items inside so let's call this FIQ uh, list and let's change the gap back to zero okay so now we have our I would say FIQ component that we can reuse and let's go to preview to see if it works yes it works perfectly it's okay it's exactly what we need but what about the text that we have inside well this should be unique for each FAQ. And so what we have to use to do so is to create some variables. So let's go back into the accordion. Under the text, we have to create, let's call it like question, question, text. And we created a first variable. And then we can also have a new variable for the content. In this case, again, we select the content on the open state we click on content here, create a new variable, and actually we can also create a formatted text. So here, uh, as you can see, we can say this uh, is the panel text. And actually, yeah, that's it. So now if we go back on home, here now we can customize our FAQ. For example, if I select the second one, I can say uh, this is the second question. Uh, I go question, I go on the third one. Uh, this is the third question and so on. And same we can do for the content. Uh, if I click on the first one, I do edit content and here we are. I have my paragraph. I can change the paragraph, right? I can put, for example, some bold. I can put some, I don't know, italic or whatever I need. And if I go in preview now, if I open the second one, you see here I have my bold, I have my uh, italic, and also the component is shrink based on the content. And this is it for this video. We created together our new accordion component and now you master how to create a new accordion from scratch. See you in the next video. Bye.